Prescription drugs can be a big part of health care costs, especially for those without health insurance. Cumberland County is participating in a free discount prescription drug program to help residents save 20% of the retail price of those drugs. Leslie McVeigh spoke with County Commissioner Steve Gordon about the program. Well, Steve, uh, Cumberland, the Cumberland County Commissioners have decided to sort of get a little more involved in the prescription discount card program, which has been around for a couple of years. Right. Um, but I didn't know anything about it. So tell our audience a little bit more about what, what this means. Well, first, I really appreciate the opportunity to do this because it is for our citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is a, something that functions along with uh, the national counties. And they created this program where if you're uninsured with prescriptions, mm -hmm. you can get this card and we're, and we're distributing it through the local town offices. Uh, there's no fee. There's no enrollment. You can use it immediately. And oddly enough, if it's a human-based uh, prescription that a pet has, it'll cover that too. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and it's about a 20% discount. Which is, is huge when you're uninsured and you have to have a prescription of some kind. Right. Um, uh, the, the savings is considerable. Well, it is. I mean, I, I, I take a prescription myself, mm -hmm. and I've been to the, to the drugstore, and I've seen people paying $100 for prescriptions. Well, if they had this, they'd, you know, it would be $20 less. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That $20 can go to, to their rent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, this has been going on for a couple of years. It's a national... Program. Um, program started by um, county commissioners. Yeah, yeah, at the national level, there is a there is a organization, mm -hmm. NECO, which is all the commissioners together, and they developed this program and have put it forth for the for the uh, counties. Uh, it in fact is statewide. So if somebody happens to hear this and they go to a town office in Cumberland mm -hmm. uh, County uh, and they live in another county, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And it, it costs absolutely nothing for it, that. There's, again, there's no fees. There's no enrollment. Uh, you can use it immediately. Uh, it, it's just a great program for those that are uninsured. Um, now, you said it's been going on. Well, you've had this for a couple of years here in Maine. Right. But it's just been not widely. Well, my understanding was it was distributed to the communities and uh, the county didn't pick up the opportunity to advertise it or make it better known. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a push at one time, and it just didn't come forth. We're going, we're, thanks to a program like this, we'll do that. Uh, we're also going to try to put it on the public channels th through a slide so that they'll get that and uh, make sure that uh, people just start be begin to talk about it. Hopefully, we can get some ads and some papers, right. too. Are you going to be putting any flyers in tax bills or anything like that? Or uh, is that maybe not allowed? That's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea, though. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great idea. <laughs> this may be the difference between life and death for some people. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's, seriously, it's, yeah, it, seriously if, if you have to have the prescription and you can't eat. And you just say, I'm yeah, going to yeah. eat instead of have the prescription. Right. Or you'll get people that will only take half their prescription because that's mm -hmm. all they can afford. Yeah. This gives them the opportunity to get back on track, right. at least somewhat, and uh, take advantage of the medication so they can get right. their health back. And there's no question with the pharmacies. They're all set to handle Well, this. no, that's an interesting point. If somebody finds a pharmacy that... that uh, questions this. Mm -hmm. Have them call the county and we'll make sure that they get contacted and know, know how to use it. Okay. But what I've been told is no, there's not a problem. There shouldn't be any problem at all. No now, um, we've got to wrap this up, but to get one of these, as you said, that the, the town offices, right. the town halls, the right. city halls, right. um, are you also putting it in nonprofit agencies, in agencies where people might go? who are looking for work who may be uninsured? Well, we're trying to get the towns to distribute it to, the, uh, to their offices where people come in and get some welfare yeah. or some assistance. That's okay. one. Uh, we're talking, in fact, with uh, a couple of the federal credit unions to see if they'll allow it to be distributed there. A couple of them are looking into doing that. And, uh, you know, we, we just the wider the, the distribution, the better off we'll be. <laughs> well, maybe we should have some here because we have people who are sort of hard on their luck coming in and looking for something to do yeah. in the meantime, and this might be well, a, please, I'd be very an outlet for you. Thank you. For more information, contact Cumberland County 
-hmm. or uh, they can contact me, Steve Gordon. Thanks, Steve. This was great. It's a, it's a wonderful program. Thank I'm you. I'm glad it's out there. So are we. <laughs>